There's one more, look over there. Oh my God. One more, there it is. Oh, thank the two of you very, very much. You both look she great. Look at the green. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You do look very, very magnificent. Thank you very much. And thank you as well. This is magnificent. If you would like to step off stage with them, you may. Please join us again in your own time. Right, bye! That's pretty good at that. No way we're ever going to be able to top that one. Well! Good people! With that out of the way, would you have more revelry? Oh, oh, my God, what are we waiting for? Kensington, the thing. Oh, yeah. I'll get right on it. You know, Your Majesty. Yes. I, I want to thank you all for how much, you know, have given you all as a person. Your surprises are, are fantastic. I know the Queen is ecstatic, but six monarchs on a festival day. <laughs> Kensington, six monarchs, it was only for a short time. It will never happen again. <laughs> Barring any other such, some sort of, you know, freak accident or something, you know. I'm gonna hold you to that, you Majesty. <laughs> I believe you. Do not become a liar, Kensington. And now the thing. Six monarchs. Six monarchs, that's six right. Monarchs. No, Whoever gotta heard of find two more thrones. Absolutely That's ridiculous. okay. <laughs> well, my friends, we have had a fantastic festival day, but given given the news I have just received, I have a lot to handle in a very short amount of time, so I am not going to host this finale this evening. I don't think Aww. I have other... No, I know, but I have found a wonderful replacement. These two people are going to rise to the occasion. They will not whine about anything you throw at them. So, lords and ladies, put your hands together for your finale host this evening, Mira Lowe and Sunny Bell. and wine mistress. And I am a Sonny Bellatoni of uh, just average fame and uh, the private baker to the lady mayor. <laughs> and before we start this finale today, there's some important business that we must attend. Those who uh, participated in my scavenger hunt earlier this day, I did give you a raffle ticket. So now's the time to get those out. Now, the grand prize winner of this raffle will win a wine and cheese tasting for up to eight people at the Barn and Barrel. And the winning ticket number is 910865. Going once, going twice. No, nope, it's another one. All right then. Uh, in the meantime, 
while we wait, the sirens and the rebels! Good evening, Lord and Ladies. Oh, sorry. Good evening, Lord and Ladies. I'm Alexander Lothier. Hi, Helen Utonia. I'm Eve Arp Utonia. I'm Eve Robin Utonia. Just a wee bit hungover. I'm there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> see, see uh, 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 a friend of ours recently passed on, and we went to the wake. And oh Lord, oh, it was a what good a wake! I see people at the good time. It was a very, very fuzzy time. It was such a good time uh, that there's a song about it. Oh, you see. Forma. 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 Loaded drunk, <laughs> and they ain't been sober yet. <laughs> as long as the bottle was passed around, every man was feeling gay. <laughs> oh, Leary came with his bagpipes. Some music for to play. Oh, that's how they show their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they show.
I know you. We think we've come up with something. I did. But, so, but before we make a grand quantity of it, we decided it better be best if we do like a taste test. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, let's see, who would want to taste it? Who would like to taste this? Over here! Over here! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, bro! Hey, that, that was so good entertaining with that last number. So you have the honor of the first test, eh? Oh, no, I'm sick. I see. I'll have one! Well, uh, I guess it was a good thing we did that after she performed. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Well, just, uh, I did. Well, uh, while we go back and uh, do some uh, tweaking, uh, 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 let's call out Rogues Assemble! <laughs> does it matter? Alright. If it doesn't matter to you, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't. Tell me whatever you want. Come on, then. Nice. <laughs> I know what else? Alright, I'm Sir Nicholas Carew. Do you want a name? I'm Anne. Alright. <laughs> Just me, that's alright. And together we are the Rangish Girls. Yes. Right now, we don't want to spook you, uh, spook you too early before Halloween, but this song's about a world without beer. Okay. Right? That's what he said. Now there are those who like to think we'd be best without a drink. No beer, ale, or party finds the border. But well, let's talk about the size, how it would change your life If everyone were only drinking water, water. Well, there'd be no public houses, no bars take your spouses No party cast your points to celebrate No deliriums or visions, regrettable decisions No excuses to be coming home too late So brother, sister, it's time to take a stand you can try my beer from my cold dead hand and raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. Yeah, raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. There'd be no swinging from the rafters, no bleary morning after. We wouldn't challenge strangers to a fight. There'd be no singing round the fire with that drunken boozy choir. We'd all be home and tucked up for the night. night. There'd be no way to wake the dead. We couldn't wet the baby's head. <laughs> or toast the bachelor or the bride to be. There'd be no cheery pint to sup, but we could always keep it up. And we wouldn't have to go and have a pee as often. So, so brothers and sisters, it's time to take a stand. You can cry my beer from my cold dead hand. Raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. Yeah, raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. For every barmaid, every waiter, both sides of the equator, will be out of work and living on the dole. The wealth of every nation depends upon libation. Beer, it seems, is worth its weight in gold. Well, we've assessed the pros and cons, told them both the right and wrong. The hellfire into which we couldn't be hard. So get that pint into your face, you can save the human race. You're drinking for the future of the world. So, well, brothers, sisters, it's time to take a stand. You can fry my beer from my cold dead hand. Raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. Yeah, raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. Yeah, raise them up, raise them up and drink them down. Well, you can fry my beer from my cold dead hand.